Okay, welcome to another story time with me, Miss Meg. Uh, hi, twos friends, and anyone else who is watching this, any other kids? So, today, as you can see, I decided to film in my kitchen today. It was just sunnier, brighter, so that's that. And today is different because we have a newer book. I know the first two story time videos were older books, that Sesame Street Together book from the 70s, and then that uh, If You Give a Moose a Muffin is from the 90s, I believe. And this book is new. It's from just uh, 2018. So I had never seen this book before until actually yesterday. I again borrowed it from the friend I am nannying. So thank you to that family for our wonderful tradition of borrowing books and sharing sharing books. Um, so this is a really great book. It is called Animal Shapes and it is written and illustrated by Christopher Silas Neal. So check out his other books. Uh, there's another one called Animal Colors that I want to check out. So I was very happy when I found this book. It's really fun and as you can see, do you see all the shapes on the front cover here? Do you see the big square in the middle? this big square, and I see a triangle for the letter A in shapes, and then I see a lot of circles. There's a circle, and then some smaller circles, and we will see the other shapes when we get into the book. So here we go. Let's start. Okay, animal shapes. Okay, what shape do you see first? What is that? Is that a triangle? And what color is it? It is red. You were right. If <laughs> you said it's a red triangle. Okay, so when a soaring bird meets a triangle, what do they become? So here's our soaring bird. It's a bird flying up high here. So think of the word fly. Our, our bird here is flying and this is a triangle. So, sorry friends, I'm still still learning how to get uh, the, make sure the whole picture is in the screen here. Okay, it is a fly angle. That is so silly. So it's a triangle. And then the little soaring bird is smushed into the triangle because fly rhymes with try. So you have a triangle and now it is a fly angle with the bird. And now all these things are flying in the sky. Some birds and a hot air balloon. And do you see what that is? What is that? You're right, if you said airplane, there is an airplane. Okay, next page, what's next? Okay, like on the front cover, what shape is that? Yes, it is a square. And what color is the square? Yes, it is blue. And then what is this? A blue, is it a snake? It's a slithering snake. Slithering snake. Okay, so what sound does a snake make, friends? You go, if you want to sound like a snake, right? Okay, so this slithering snake meets a square. What do they become? A square. We'll say that again. Square. Wow, look at that. See, so the snake is all wrapped around. Do you see that's the design of the snake? With the triangles. So it's all wrapped around to form a square. Look at that. That's pretty cool, friends. Slithering through the grass. 
Okay, next. What is that? What shape is that? Is that a circle? And what color is it? Yes, it is red. Okay, so when two cozy cats meet a circle, what do they become? So we have two cozy cats. One cat, two cats. And then, <gasps> wow, look at the cats. They're all curled up together to form a circle. Look at that. Wow. They look very comfortable. That's what cats do, right? They curl up and they get cozy, like this said, cozy cats. Does anybody have a pet cat at home? And then what else do we see on here? We see a ball of yarn. Cats like to play with yarn. We see there is a dish of food here and some balls, and then it looks like some mice. Ooh, maybe the cats will get the mice. Okay, so it's a purkle instead of a circle, right? Because purr sounds like the beginning of circle. And purr is another way of saying, you know, cats purr. What else do we say cats say? They say meow. That's a, the way they purr when we say the cat sound meow. Okay, what's next? Oh, what shape is this? Is that an oval? And what color is the oval? That's right, it is green. Okay, so when a lazy turtle meets an oval, what do they become? You see, here's our lazy turtle friend. Okay, so there's the turtle. So if the turtle is lazy, what does that mean? Is it maybe moving slowly? Turtles will often move slowly, friends, right? Okay. It becomes a slow ball. So instead of an oval, it is now a slow ball. So slow sounds like O, oh, they rhyme. So do you see how the turtle formed an oval? A turtle normally is an oval, right? With its shell. There we go. Okay, so the sloval. Looks like this is a sea turtle, friends. Looks like it is a sea turtle swimming with some fish. But I guess it must be swimming slowly if it is lazy and a slowval. Okay, what's next? Let's see. All right, next up is, oh, this shape is tricky. I'm gonna turn this book around, friends, because normally you see this shape like this. Do you know what that shape is? Have you seen that shape before? This is a tricky one. That is called a trapezoid. Can you try to say it? My, my twos friends actually did a good job saying it this morning on our twos Zoom. They got a sneak peek of this book. So trapezoid, try to say that. All right, so what is going to combine with the trapezoid? It is a noisy woodpecker. Okay, so here's the woodpecker. You see the woodpecker? Okay, do you know what a woodpecker is, right? A type of bird and it goes tap, 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 tap on the wood, right? So we have a trapezoid and a woodpecker. <gasps> they make a tap, Tapazoid. You get it? Instead of a trapezoid, the woodpeckers are tapping on the wood, on the trees here. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. 
Friends, there's a really fun book about woodpeckers tapping. I will remember the name of it and I will link it in the description of this video. Uh, okay, so... Tap, tap, tapping. Tap, tap, tapazoid. And see, look. There's the shape of a trapezoid formed. Look at that. There's a trapezoid. Okay, what is next? Let's see here. Oh, next up we have this shape. Do you know what that shape is? Is that a rectangle? Okay, so when jumbled giraffes meet a rectangle, what do they become? I see a lot of giraffes' necks on this spread here of two pages. Let's count the giraffes. One, two, three, and four giraffes. Do you see the four giraffes? Four. Four giraffes. They become a neck tangle. That is so funny, friends. See, it's all the giraffe's necks and they formed a rectangle. And neck sounds like wreck of rectangle. It rhymes. So look at that. Wow, that is so cool. All those giraffes all jumbled together in a rectangle. And it looks like the trees are rectangles too. Look at that. That is a rectangle, four sides. That is a rectangle. Remember, a rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. But a square, remember, all the sides are the same. Okay. Next up, we have this shape. This is another tricky shape. Do you know what that shape is? This is called a pentagon because it has five sides. Five sides on a pentagon. And what color is it? Is it yellow? Yes, yeah, so let's count the five sides. One, two, three, four, five sides on a pentagon. Okay, so what does the pentagon combine with? Oh, a curious dog meets the pentagon. Let's see, let's look at the curious dog. Oh, cute. Very cute little curious dog. His, his or her tongue is out, so that's what dogs do a lot, right? They like to sniff around, smell everything, explore everything. Friends, do you have a dog at home? Maybe some of you have a dog at home. I know some of my two's friends have dogs. I love dogs, friends. Okay. Next page. <gasps> It's a centagon instead of a pentagon. So cent sounds like pent. It rhymes. And this, this is a centagon now. See how the dog smushed up to form the shape of a pentagon? That's really silly, right, friends? I know my two's friends thought this one looked extra silly this morning. Okay, so we have this curious dog sniffing, right? Scent means smell, so the dog is sniffing around on everything, probably smelling the grass and everything on the ground. It looks like the dog is walking along a sidewalk and sniffing everything. Okay, looks like we have next, what shape is this? Okay, so this shape you normally see this shape in red, friends, because this is called an octagon. Can you say octagon? And it is normally red because a very common octagon we see is a stop sign. So when you're outside and you see a stop sign on the roads to make sure the drivers in the cars and trucks, they all need to stop at a stop sign, right? So. An octagon is normally red, but 
in this picture, they he are author and illustrator here decided to make it green because of the green hopping frogs. Okay, so we can count the eight sides of this octagon. Ready? We'll start at the top here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that was eight sides of the octagon, eight, four, oh, oh. four and four makes eight, eight sides. Okay, so, and then do you see our, we have two hopping frogs. Here's the frogs. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so we have froggies. So they make a hoptagon. I'll say it again, hoptagon, because the frogs are hopping and hop sounds like octagon, the beginning, right? So here we go, another, uh, Two's friend this morning, her big sister noticed that every frog, they were all different shades of green, which was a good observation, and we thought, that was so you can see all the different frogs. They're all smushed together. Is that so silly? All those froggies smushed together to make an octagon. And it looks like they're in a pond with some grass. Looks like they're, the frogs are catching bugs like this one. Look, see? Woo! Okay. Next page. What shape is this? Friends, this is a shape that you do not hear about a lot and you do not see this shape a lot, but it is called a nonogon because there are nine sides. Okay, so I think we need to count the nine sides just like we have been counting a lot of sides of these other shapes. Okay, so here we go. We'll start here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine sides. Wow, let's count out nine fingers now. So we have five and four makes nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Sorry, friends. Everything is more tricky when I'm distracted by making sure you can see what I'm doing on the video. Still learning all about doing this all through video. Okay. Uh, so what color do you see? Is that yellow? Yellow, a very bright color. Okay, and then what is that? Is that a sleepy lion? Look at that, sleepy lion. All right, so we have a sleepy lion and a nonagon. So it is a yawnogon because yawn sounds like non. And the lion is sleepy, so if you are sleepy, you yawn. And look, that lion is letting out a very big yawn, friends. And look, the lion is sleeping under the stars. That looks so nice. And now it looks like we have more stars. Look at this. Look at all those stars in the night sky. And so this is the end of the story. It says, good night, Agon. And there are all of the shapes, a lot of the shapes that we have just talked about in this book. They're all traced out in the stars. I will just leave this up. You can look at all the shapes. Some are a little tricky to see, but there they are. And it looks like that is one of the cozy cats from the cat page, sleeping under the stars. Wow, what a great book, friends. Okay, so 
time to clap for this excellent, fun book, Animal Shapes. Yay! Okay, friends. Well, I am heading now to play with the friend that I have been nannying whose book this is. So I need to return this book to him. That is part of our tradition is I borrow it for one night and then return it the next day. So I love this book and I definitely want to read the other books uh, by Christopher Silas Neal, like Animal Colors. So it's very exciting when you find a, a new book. And um, I know we have another tradition, all these traditions, all these new traditions, friends, of ending these videos with a virtual hug. So here is the virtual hug. Okay. And I know I have been doing that special shaker, but I do not happen to have it with me right now. But that's okay. We did the virtual hug. Here's another virtual hug. Okay. Bye, friends. See you next time.